Well, as I was saying, mm -hmm. pets, well, they really are just like little kids. They are running a racket on all of us. They even play video games. Fox 5's Joe Waldman takes a look at some new apps designed specifically to entertain our four-legged friends. He's in the Flatiron District tonight, and I know Joel is a big softy when it comes to his dog. <laughs> Steve, you know, there was a time in a day when I used to play catch with my with my dog with a good old fashioned tennis ball. Now, apparently, all you need is one of these so long as you don't throw it at your pets. <laughs> this hot dog used to show off chasing down an old fashioned tennis ball. But oh, how the times have changed. This little wiener now trading in his balls and bones for an apple iPad that is same with this relentless reptile the old slogan there's an app for that never ringing more true but now there's even an app for that cat you're looking at this and I'm laughing but you're not laughing because you're used to people being kind of much crazier than their dogs yes yes and uh it kind of annoys me to tell you the truth because they think they're doing something good for the dog, but they're just really driving the dog crazy. City Dog Pack founder Miguel Rodriguez handled bomb sniffing dogs in Iraq. Now he handles my beloved Mabel Rose and Killazilla, which can sometimes become problematic while trying to do my job. Do you think. <laughs> hey, Zilly, conducting an interview here. A professional dog trainer, Rodriguez says owners need to stop treating their pets like humans and more like dogs or cats. At first, it looks entertaining to them, but it, after a while, you can hear the dog whining, and it's actually causing anxieties. They're not having fun at all. So it is very frustrating. Mabel, what do you think of the ladybug? <laughs> <laughs> Mabel, I asked a question. What do you think of the ladybug? Mabel didn't bite, neither did Homer. Homer, you want to chase a ladybug? You want to chase the ladybug? Come on, you have big bug eyes. You want to chase a ladybug? No, you don't care. But should you care, your pet could destroy your smartphone or tablet. Tom's Guide Reviews editor Mike Prospero says not really. The screen is a lot harder than any uh, tooth, I think, than a dog or cat might have. So it can, it can generally withstand that sort of thing. Unless, of course, there's some real monkey business going on. <laughs> If you happen to have a pet monkey at home or a giant dog like a Rottweiler, the person that we spoke to, the tech person, says you can get a case. Steve, I know you know about this. Otterbox, I believe it is, mm -hmm. or Life Proof. They are cases that will protect both your smartphone and your iPad. And Steve, I have to tell you, my dog religiously watches TV and barks at all animals, not just dogs. I was sure she was going to bite on the ladybug but no go. Steve. Got stage fright on camera. I'm not buying a pet, an iPad. She's certainly though. not related to Joel. Yeah. <laughs>